Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, we're going to take a look at the Water Dragon dollar that came out. Uh, it's been out for about a month, I guess. Mine's been under quarantine due to current situations here, and that's why I can touch it with uh, out gloves. It's uh, past its quarantine period. So this is patterned after the 19... Ooh, after the 1910 um, imperial silver dollar um, minted by the China Central Bank and it became kind of known as the water dragon dollar uh, because it's a dragon flying over the sea. So that is kind of cool. We'll go in with the scope, of course. Um, one thing that has me concerned, actually this is the sixth one out of eight in a series uh, by Shanghai Mint and in partnership with Atmex. And so I'm hoping that the current conditions don't affect the availability of being able to complete the set. We've only got two more to go. And briefly, here are the other ones and they're just so awesome. This was the first one. Um, oh, do I have these in proper order? I better, uh, hang on a second. Let me just double check. I've got everybody set up properly. Um, I'll be right back. All right, now we're in proper order here. I had the first two right, but, uh, after that we were a mishmash. So, these are just really, really cool. This is the series of China's most valuable vintage coins. Um... And, um, yeah, they're mostly all, well, actually, they're all dragon-themed. And I've done videos on each of them. Um, the, I'll actually, actually, let's do this here. There's, a, I'll show you the price and the name of each one here. The price is, uh, what's currently listed on Atmex. It doesn't necessarily mean that's what they sell for, uh, like on eBay or anything like that. But it just shows that they've gone up in value for the most part. Um, each of these has a mintage of 5,000, and I realize I'm spending a lot of time on the other ones here instead of showing you the new one, but um, they all tend to go up in value. So uh, let's take a closer look um, at this uh, new one here, uh, the Water Dragon Dollar or the uh, Imperial Silver Dollar from 1910, or patterned after. It's not a complete restrike, so. And uh, actually, briefly, they've uh, done some other restrikes as well. This isn't part of that series, but uh, this one has uh, gone up significantly in value as well. And then this is another new series. This is the first one in a new series of the... Um, I think it's more after the um, revolution there, or the, the People's Republic of China. So... Um, yeah, anyway, back to, back to the story at hand. All right, that is super awesome. Gotta love that face, right? Sheesh. So, there's the pearl and the sea. It is really cool. I like the detail on this. Lots of coolness. A uh, little beading around the perimeter here and then the lettering and what's different about this one each of them has had the denomination of the coin slightly different this one is like a dollar sign that's wild so one dollar so the other ones either say one dollar or they say who poo or uh, something along those lines. So each of them has, like I say, been a little different. So that's kind of cool. So let's flip this guy over and check out the other side. Alright, so we've got the Chinese characters, and I won't even attempt, obviously. Um, supposedly, according to Atmex, somewhere on here it says Wan Yuan and Great Qing Dynasty uh, silver coin. So, um, yeah. So I like it. So the and then there's a little bit of a floral pattern here. That's kind of neat. 
And these are, they call them PU, um, kind of like premium uncirculated. For all intents and purposes, they're kind of proof-ish. So, uh, let's get back to the regular view. Alright, so another winner, I think, in this series. Uh, number six out of eight. Hopefully they can squeeze in the other two with this COVID situation. So, um, yeah, love this series. So, and they have gone up in value anyway, or at least the Atmex price has gone up. I don't know. I haven't looked on eBay to see what they sell for, but great design. So again, this is the 1910 Imperial silver dollar or a repli replica thereof. So... I thank you so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye. Bye.